<laughs> Welcome back to those Xbox Day. I'm not kidding you. They're yelling at me. We're close. We're close. I'm going, we're close, guys. We're close. I, I didn't even hear anything. You and I having a full-on conversation. I'm like, we're on air. <laughs> it is time for Intrigue Journal with Sean Paul, and we're on air. Okay. <laughs> so we should go now, right? We should. Ladies and gentlemen, it is now time to challenge your reality, okay? Mm -hmm. um, and... Uh, uh, People are taught things in school, and we're just told uh, to believe it and accept it for face value. For instance, in, in Egyptology, there's scholars that uh, wrote a bunch of history back in the 18, 1900s, and that's the way it's supposed to stand. But you know what? Now we've got, well, we've got satellite photographs. They've got little robots that can crawl into tunnels yeah. in the pyramids and things like that, yeah. radar and sonar scanning. But it's, it's funny. Whenever somebody comes up with a new theory about ancient history, it's, it's, they're, rebu they're rebuked, and, and they don't like the them challenging the status quo, all right? But there's a lot of new things. And in fact, let's go to the first still. There were some stories that came out in the last week. I didn't even know I was going to be talking about this this week until these stories came out about hidden doors below the legendary monument and artifacts that are discovered beneath mm -hmm. the, the, the Sphinx. I went down the rabbit hole and I started researching things <laughs> and it just blew my mind. You would need an hour. Yeah, easily, Absolutely. easily. So I'm going to just try and get through as much as I can here mm -hmm. today. But this is, if we remember what we were taught about the Sphinx in school, we were taught something about uh, that they believe, Egyptologists believe that the huge statue on the bank of the Nile is the Pharaoh Khafre's uh, head on the body of a lion, and the Egyptians built it 4,500 years ago. Mm -hmm. I believe almost none of it. At really? this point. Wow. Because of everything that I've learned. Well, let's start off with what Edgar Cayce uh, uh, prophesied okay. in 1933. Okay. Edgar Cayce, next still, he was a, a famous, legendary American prophet and psychic, mm -hmm. and he predicted many things that turned out to come true. Mm -hmm. He predicted the stock market crash of 1929. He predicted World War II. He would go into trance in his sleep. They'd have a stenographer, mm -hmm. and they would, she would start uh, recording things that he would be talking talking about wow. in his sleep. Oh. And one thing that he prophesied is that in the year 1998, we would discover evidence beneath the Sphinx that would tell us more about it. And that it is not 4,500 years old, but it's more like 10,000 years old or even older. The oldest man-made object in the world. Wow. Oh, wow, that's crazy. And he said that beneath the left paw of the, the Sphinx would be a time capsule that would, uh, that would be the Hall of Records with information about the earliest part of man and the history of Atlantis. <gasps> the lost city of yeah. Atlantis? Yeah. I know, I just lost everybody, didn't I? Oh that, my is that yes. just too much of a stretch? Is that no, too much of a reach? But they, they didn't look into it. Nobody's done anything. Well, okay, so what is Atlantis? Atlantis uh, in three, uh, 300 BC was by Plato. Let's go to the next slide. And it was this amazing, amazing culture, highly advanced, and they, 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 their city was a ring of islands, and they, they, could fly, they could go from the ocean to the center of the city. Amazing story, right? Mm -hmm. And it just gets disregarded as being mythology, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Well, let's go back to the Sphinx, all right? They say it's only 4,500 uh, feet, uh, only 4,500 years old. Look at the top part part of the structure there. First of all, look at how, if that's the body of a lion and the head of a man, mm -hmm. you kind of look at the head and it's, it actually looks too small. It does. Yeah. Doesn't yeah. It, it, yeah. it doesn't look proportionate it doesn't. to the size. Mm -mm. I'm glad you guys agree with that. That's, that's yeah. critical. Now, another thing is, for the last 4,000 years, it spent most of the time under the sand, buried up to the neck, because the wind keeps right. burying it, mm -hmm. as you can see in the lower left-hand corner. And yet, why is it that the, the body is more distressed and deteriorated than the head? Oh, it's underwater. Maybe. Very, yeah, actually, very close, Kelly. It's been weather-beaten by rain mm. in the desert. Mm. That couldn't be unless it was weather damage that came out of the last ice age, which would have been 8,000 years ago. Oh, I see where you're going with this. See what I'm saying? Mm. So it's actually a lot older. But then why would the head be in such pristine condition right. when it was actually exposed to the elements more than the body? And I'll tell you why. Because that's not the original head. Oh. <laughs> okay? So back when it might have actually been built, 
and it was more of a lush area and not desert, a very popular animal would have been the lion. Let's go to the next one. And so that could have been a very common uh, statue of what an animal, you know, like a lion would look like. Mm -hmm. So now they're actually saying that it's highly probable that that sphinx originally looked more like that. That looks now, like a dog to me. Just it so does you know. look okay, like okay, a dog. but I'll just, say that. Okay, but just humor me and say it's a okay, lion. It's okay, it's a lion. Let's go to the next still. If you overlay. The head of a lion. You can see that there's actually a lot to take away. Are we almost out of time? Oh, really? we're good. We had two minutes. Okay. Yeah. All right. So you have all of that. So that's why I think history has been is going to be rewritten, just based on geol geology mm -hmm. and and the weather patterns. It, this stuff could almost easily be proven. So now, um, what? Okay. So then there's we have another still. This is the oh. This is where they, they, they're saying are a lot of these underground tunnels and whatnot. Mm -hmm. They're saying there's a causeway that goes all the way from the Sphinx underground to the pyramids. They've actually gone through there. They've explored it. There's some really exciting stuff. But you've got, next slide, we've got the Minister of Antiquities. He's like one of the most powerful men in e Egypt because tourism is their number one industry. Oh, he wow. says what you can do and what you can't do as far as archaeology goes. But this guy... He's been like, yes, you can uh, down that corridor, there's nothing to see there. Well, can we go? No, nope. you cannot. Just mm. take my word for it. Interesting. He's actually been implicated in some illegal stuff, <gasps> selling stuff out of the country, which is highly illegal. Wow. So now they're saying that this chamber below the left paw, which they found with sonar, is empty. He's telling you it's empty. He stole it! Ah, uh, I don't might, trust him. It might end up in a private collection somewhere, right? Yeah, Rich people exactly. get away with everything. Okay, so I got one more thing because I know we're almost out of time okay. here. Getting back to Atlantis, did you know that on the, the walls of Egypt there's a lot of references to many deaths that took place in a great city out west? Many, a city out west. That's deaths. what they're saying, okay? Okay. okay? So let's look at the map. Right. Okay. Go, let's go from the, uh, the, there to 2,700 miles in the west of Africa. Oh, okay. We're just going in the same continent, but 2,700 miles to the west. Look at what we have here. The rechat structure, and look what that could actually oh. look like. So Atlantis was in Africa? That's one of the theories, is that the eye of, e of Africa that we're just looking at could have actually have been. That's 30 miles in diameter, the, the structure that we just showed you on the map, and it, it could match up almost perfectly to what Plato described as the ancient city of Atlantis. So much there, Sean Paul. Oh, Sean Paul. We, yeah, seven minutes just doesn't do it justice. Mind just, blown. Yeah, I've got lots of questions, but we don't have time for them today. Right. But that's such interesting yeah. stuff. Isn't it? Yes. Thanks, Sean Paul. Amazing. Thank We're going to be back to wrap things up right after this. Don't go anywhere. Yeah, I was like, are you serious? What? Yeah. Atlantis. Atlantis. Yes. Really? It's just yeah. a myth. I mean, right. that's what we've been told. We could do several subjects.